All right, so I'm back. I just let my hair rest and it fell back into place. It's not quite as sticking out. I just placed a couple of curls, but I didn't put any more product or water or anything on it. Um, I will tell you that this is day five hair. I washed my hair Sunday morning and today's Friday morning. So it really um, has been doing well. Um, I didn't, I didn't, um, I didn't hold it up overnight in the buff the last several nights. I only did that the one night. All the other nights I've been using these little um, uh, cloths with a wire inside of it. And I had the same hairstyle for several days. I didn't even take it down or fix it and it didn't hurt my head or anything. So these are also really nice uh, and they do a really good job. But last night I finally took it out uh, and, um, you know, like I said, did a tiny bit of a, a refresh and everything before I went to bed, before I put the buff on. Um, so I think for this morning, not wanting to fix my hair and having to take out um, any clips or pins or this tie and, you know, reposition my hair, pulling out the buff and just shaking my head and then being done, that was nice this morning to have my hair already fixed. Um, so depending on what you're doing, um, if you want to have a hairstyle with something like this in your hair, then you can fix it the night before and it's ready to go in the morning and you can leave it that way for a couple days. Um, you know, I just would refresh a couple of little curls that were hanging down um, when I use these hair ties. But anyway, so that's a couple of options. But I wanna talk to you about these hair ties. Um, before I do that, I guess I should let you get a one more look at my hair since we're talking about the buff and now I'm on to another subject. But, um, but anyway, it, it, it has calmed way down and kind of come down here at my neck and, and that funny feeling where it felt like my hair was sticking out. It, it doesn't feel like that anymore. It, it feels really normal and stuff. So, so anyway, I think that buff thing was really nice. Okay, so let me tell you about these two really quick. Um, this one here with the polka dots, I got at Walmart a couple years ago. I can untie this and I can put it in any shape I want. And it holds its shape really well. Uh, you know, you can make a bow or you can make it flat or whatever. You can um, crisscross this at the top of your head and twist and then it will stay. Or I just usually will tie a knot. But um, this is really great for pineapple your hair instead of using a ponytail holder and all of that. And I can show you how to use that in just a second. But the one that I got on Amazon, I looked and looked and looked and looked. There's a lot of people on Amazon who sell these, who make them homemade. Um, and I don't like this one as much. The wire is much more stiff. Um, I think the wire in this one I got at Walmart has like a rubber coating on it. It kind of feels like that. And it's a little bit more of a flexible wire where this is literally just a plain old wire. And so um, it not having the flexibility to it sometimes makes it hard to get into the shape I want. Um, and the ends are, they are folded over on the end so it can't poke you or hurt you. But, um, but the material is a little bit slipperier. It's kind of like that fake um, rayon stuff. I don't know if you can really get an idea. It's almost like imitation chiffon, kind of cheapy actually. And I thought that this would be what I wanted and maybe good for reducing frizz and stuff, but it doesn't have that um, tack to it that it needs to kind of help it stay in actually. So this other one that I have is, I don't know what kind of material this is. Like this one is obviously um, uh, a type of denim, a really thin uh, denim, and it feels soft, it doesn't feel rough, um, but there's just something about it that grabs my hair a little bit better. And then this one is slightly velvety, like it's still kind of like a, 
I don't know if it's rayon that I'm thinking of or not, but it, it has just a little bit more thickness to it and almost a slight velvety feel. So, so anyway, let me show you how I use these really quick. Um, you know, you could use them to style your hair, just like a regular headband. Um, and then you can make a nice hairstyle like that. But at night or for a ponytail or a pineapple, then I'll show you here. I usually go up about this high and then twist a little right here at my bang area and then flip back and you can do a fun ponytail style. I could tie that better or do whatever there, but I don't want to take too much time on that. You can get all sorts of fun hairstyles here. Um, all, I usually will pull the hair forward for sure. I never leave it tight like that. And there's so many cute things you can do with this. And then of course when you're sleeping, you can leave this up on top of your, your head. Um, sometimes I'll take a alligator clip and just kind of, you know, nest that in there. Um, but if you get just the right idea with pins, you can make it look like you have bangs and you can leave some hair down or not. There's a lot of things you can do with this. And this has done really, really well for me for the last couple of years. But like I say, I'm looking for a new one and I actually want someone to make these for me and I would sell them on my website. You could get practice um, sewing and make a little money and I'm really actually very interested in supporting someone who wants to start up a little sewing business or something to help me with this. So talk to me if you want to get involved with that. Um, with as high as I put this and as loose as this is, it just, it doesn't dent your hair at all. And if it ever slides, you can always just grab a little pincher clip and, and just grab it and pinch that in. Um, any little hairs that come out at night, if you have short hairs like I do, I will usually scrunch those up or do a little um, bun or something and then pin those in place. Uh, some people like to do the Medusa clipping, but I think that that squashes the hair. Uh, it makes the curls get flat, but if you scrunch them just like you do when you're scrunching your your hair gel into your hair, then it actually stays more curly. So anyway, and then um, I guess I have to take out these clips to get this back off. But hopefully that gives you some ideas of what you can do. And then again, you just kind of have to get your hair to relax back down. So these are really great. All right, so who's, who's gonna do this for me? Maybe a teenager who wants a job right now. Um, I can't guarantee how many would sell on my website, but I think they're wonderful. And if you guys start trying them, they would be an inexpensive item that would just really benefit you. And we could support someone who wants to start a little business and help me out on my website with some new fun, um, you know, products. So let me know. I can give you uh, the dimensions and maybe a swatch of fabric so you'll know what kind of cloth to get and we can make them fun colors and stuff. So anyway, let me know. Comment below. Email me. Message me. All right. Thanks, guys, for watching. And um, I do currently have this one in my Amazon affiliate store. Um, but like I say, it's not like my favorite, but it still works really well if you want to go and grab one right now. They're available there. So, all right, bye.